I can't quite remember where I met him, but they said, oh, this is uh, David Stewart and he's the bloke who makes modems. And I went, oh, really? That's interesting because I was using one of his modems and I was impressed to know that there was an Australian bloke who was making the thing that was connecting us to the internet. So ADSL was a great breakthrough on two fronts. One, it got you much more bandwidth. It was bandwidth in the megabits, which as websites got more and more image intensive uh, and became more important. And two, you could use that um, over the same line as you were having a telephone service. With the case of the first wireless broadband um, products, that was Telstra and Big Pond, which I was running at the time, and then it, it needed a, a manufacturer who could who could build it and make it all work and make it work reliably. And and guess what? It turned out to be Netcom again, just around the corner from uh, from Telstra. So that was another moment when I came across um, David. Um, so it was it was a guaranteed customer base, if you like. Um, and for Netcom to score that role with a, with a major global supplier like Ericsson, which was supplying the, the basic network technology, was a real coup. David has seen and understood multiple waves of technology that have come along, and he has understood when a wave um, uh, was breaking, when it was just going to turn to froth and it was time to get off and paddle out the back and catch another wave. And so he's been really good at riding successive waves of technology. The one cons constant at that time has been, has been David, and there's very few companies, IT companies in Australia, I can't think of any, uh, that have got that, that consistency of leadership. What David is building at the moment is a global company, which is truly a global leader um, in a, a number of different areas, actually, of, of, of connecting networks to networks. And um, I, I think the, uh, the best days are yet to come. <laughs>